Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you're all well as always. I haven't done a grocery haul in a while, so I figured where I needed groceries and I wanted to put up a video this um, before the weekend. What better time than to do a grocery haul, right? Today after work, I went to a store called Market Basket. Now that particular store is only in the Northeast, the New England states, um, Massachusetts, where I am, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and I wanna say Maine. I don't think it's in Connecticut, so Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Maine. Again, it's called Market Basket. They're always very well stocked. Um, the prices are lower, although as with every other store, they've been going up a little bit, but tons of variety. Every register is always open. The customer service is fantastic. You never feel like you're on your own trying to find things, or at least I don't feel that way. It's just a very, very good store. And I wish the rest of the company, I mean, the rest of the company, sorry, the rest of the country, um, was able to have a market basket like we have here in New England. But anyways, I'm gonna get to, get to this haul. I haven't eaten very good in the past couple weeks at all. Um, I, I've been out of fresh fruit and fresh vegetables and yogurt and the usual stuff that I like to eat for the past two or three weeks. Well, again, I've been eating like just junk holiday food nothing good at all and I'm really feeling it um, and I've also haven't been to the gym in about two weeks and as you know I've recently joined the gym again so I need to get back and this grocery haul is the majority of um, very healthy foods so I'm going to show you what I got and this will get me through a couple weeks if you're new to my channel I am a single woman um, you know, divorced, my children are, are grown and out of the house, so it's just me. So it, grocery shopping for one person can get challenging. So anyways, let me get to this. I have my usual bananas. I don't know about anybody else, but I put my produce in a plastic bag when I buy it. I know a lot of people just you know, put their, their, you know, the bunch of bananas in the cart or whatever, but I always put mine in a bag. So there's the bananas. Um, I bought these, not frozen, they're fresh, Brussels sprouts. I'm going to saute these. Usually I buy frozen Brussels sprouts, but I saw these. They're halved, so I'm going to saute these um, sometime this week, maybe this weekend and a little more during the week. So yeah. Um, very fresh. They're good through um, January 5th. So again, I will use them. Maybe I'll saute all of them and freeze some. But yeah, there's some fresh Brussels sprouts. I have not bought this before, but I see it every time I go to the store. It's the butternut squash noodles. It almost looks like spaghetti. And um, again, I've never uh, bought this form of butternut squash before. It says you can um, briefly saute, steam, boil, toss with your favorite sauce and vegetables. So that'll be good too. Maybe I'll do a little bit of the Brussels sprouts and this together. So that's that. Blueberries. Got a bunch of blueberries. I'm just going to throw everything over here lot of sorts. I haven't done a grocery haul in a while and it's usually a very large Walmart haul but haven't been to Walmart in a while. I don't know about where you are but Walmart I don't know it's it's all self-checkout and a couple registers open and when I do a big grocery haul I really don't want to do it myself um, so yeah anyways uh, let's see cucumber again it's in a bag it's just your basic cucumber so that'll last me a few salads. Sometimes I like to eat it by itself with just a little dressing. Uh, what else? Let me free up this space over here. I bought myself a rotisserie chicken. This was um, $4.69, and as you can see, it says market basket rotisserie chicken. 
So I buy these a lot. And when I had my dog, I used to share them with him. But as you know, I don't have him anymore. So I will make a couple meals out of this. And then I will make a nice soup um, in a few days. And I will um, you know, keep a serving of the soup out, one or two bowls. And then I'll freeze the rest for another meal sometime. But yeah, this is, I, I buy rotisserie chickens probably once or twice a month. And it's good for one meal and then picking at it as you open the refrigerator door, stuff like that. Um, I did buy some bacon. I do like bacon, self-explanatory. Black Label Original Bacon, Natural Hardwood Smoke. Your bacon. Uh, it's a natural Medium Cheddar Cheese, bought that. Repeat by the Cozy Shack Simply simply Well No Sugar Added Rice Pudding. I like this. I like to heat it up in the microwave about 20 seconds. Sometimes I'll even sweeten it with a little grape jelly. It's just a nice little snack. Look at that. Um, some stuff that I haven't bought in a while. Actually, I think I bought hummus last time I went to Aldi. So that's the hummus. I like that on crackers or on toast. Tabbouleh salad. I haven't bought this probably about a year, but I really like tabbouleh salad just in a little bowl by itself like a snack or on crackers. I like that a lot. So I bought that and it's a family size. So I don't know. Maybe I should have bought the smaller one. I got some um, tabbouleh to eat. Family size. Whatever. Um, I don't want to repeat myself here, so I'm watching where I put it. I got myself some Mitchell's Fresh Mild Salsa. I don't know if you saw my Christmas gift um, video, but my stepmom and dad got me some peach salsa, and um, it's just about gone, as are the Stacy's pita chips that they bought to go with it. So yeah, that's almost gone. I think I have a little bit left. Hold on. I'm going to look in the fridge and I'll show you how much I have left. Hold on. Hold on. Here I am. Yeah. Here's the peach salsa, Amy. There you go. You got me this for Christmas. It's just about gone. It's just about gone. I think I got one little serving left. It's very good and thank you. So yes, it's just about gone. We're just going to put this right over here. All right, half and half for my coffee, half and half. I got um, these sandwich thins, they're Arnold sandwich thins. Again, as with all my grocery hauls, I tell you all the time, I do not buy loaves of bread because it will just go bad. So what I will do, just like when I buy English muffins, I'll take some of these out and I'll put them in a, um, like, you know, sandwich baggies, and I'll freeze the rest of these. And these are nice little thins. They're 100% whole wheat. I got two cans of Progresso soup. One is a clam chowder, and the other is chicken, rice, and vegetables. I do stockpile. If you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, um, I haven't done a stockpiling video in a while, but I also do stockpile for hard times, whether it's weather or financial hard times. I have a stockpile in a closet of all kinds of canned foods, um, canned vegetables, chickpeas, proteins, whether it's canned chicken, canned tuna, um, just non-perishables, because I don't think we can ever be too prepared for, again, hard times whether it's weather, financial, um, power outages, whatever. We need to have a little bit of extra food on hand. This tropical fruit, it's frozen, and it's going to defrost soon if I don't get it in the freezer. This is nice to have on hand um, if you're out of fresh fruit. So I picked that up, just a little, a little extra. You can even make it set like it says, great for smoothies. You can make smoothies, you can mix them in with your yogurt, a little bit on some cereal, eat it just like it is. Anyways, I've been trying to keep some um, frozen fruit in my freezer four times when I don't have fruit. 
I don't know about anyone else, but I like three bean salad and I like sweet and sour red cabbage. And this is Aunt Nellie's, so I bought one of each. Again, this is something that I will just open the jar and take a couple bites, you know, here and there as I open the refrigerator. So I don't eat a lot of like big meals. I pick at my food. Again, it's just me, so it's hard to cook a big meal. So I just, like I said, I pick at stuff. So this rotisserie chicken that I bought, I'll pick at that. I'll open this and have a little bowl of it. Pick at this, it's just how I eat. I bought um, three cans of tuna for my stockpile. This is the Market Basket brand, solid white albacore tuna in water. It was three for five. So I picked up three of these for my stockpile. Really good um, source of protein, just like the canned chicken that I buy and the chickpeas. Yeah, so, whoop. so I picked up three of those. Uh, let's see, I got some Market Basket brand salad dressing, California French style, which is like the Catalina and some classic ranch. Um, this way this is a new item um, a new buy for me I usually buy at Aldi the flaxseed oatmeal um, but I don't need any oatmeal I have a lot of oatmeal in my stockpile so I bought this bag of flaxseed meal it's whole ground Bob's red mill flaxseed meal and I'm going to put that in my plain yogurt and I'm also I'm not plain yogurt plain oatmeal and I'm also going to mix it in to my yogurt and I read it it's really it's um, two tablespoons is 70 calories I think that's okay no cholesterol no sodium 1% total carbohydrate and 11% dietary fiber 3 grams of protein see that but yeah it's just a little healthy additive to anything basically that you eat some sweet potato chips, the Tower brand sweet potato chips. Got three um, romaine hearts. Now, Siggy's yogurt. The only place I can find Siggy's yogurt is at Market Basket. Walmart, Walmart used to carry it. Um, before the pandemic started, they used to carry it, but I have not seen it at at uh, Walmart. But anyways, it's 15 grams of protein. There's 10 grams of sugar in it, which is, I think, kind of like, you know, moderate. But I got a bunch of the raspberry, and then I got some of the blueberry. I got some strawberries also. And then I picked up a package of the Too Good yogurt. It's got the two grams of sugar and 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, three carbs and zero added sugar. So this is a little healthier than the Siggy's. I just like how thick the Siggy's yogurt is. So this was like almost like a little treat for me to buy that. So as you can tell, I do like my yogurt. I picked up some um, finely shredded Italian cheese. Now when I um, make little meals out of my rotisserie chicken, I will um, like open a can of tomatoes and um, bake the chicken a little bit more, even though it's already cooked. I'll just put that in a little baking pan with some canned tomatoes, a little bit of the juice, put some of the chicken on this chicken, some of the cheese on top of the chicken, and that's like a nice little meal for yourself. I picked up two of the Market Basket Donut Shop Cake Cups. These were $3.99, and you get, what do you get? Yeah, 12, 12, just like the other, other um, boxes. So I picked up that, two of those, one, two, and some market basket woven wheats, which is just like the Triscuits. These were $2.50. How about those? 
and I'll use that for like um, my salsa or my hummus or the tabbouleh or just cheese and crackers. Again, sometimes instead of just a whole meal, I'll sit down with some of the triscuits or the, you know, the woven wheats, some cheese and crackers or salsa, and I'll add a little protein in it. And that's almost like a meal for me too. Sounds crazy, doesn't sound too filling, but that's how I eat. Um, then some market basket, farm fresh, large brown eggs. These were $3.99. Um, their eggs were like $2.99 all the way up to $8.99. These were middle of the road. So I picked these up and a couple more things, just some personal products, some wipes. I like to keep these on hand just for, you know, everyday cleanups and I also have a stockpile of um, wipes in case of a tragic event where you don't have water and you need to clean up. I really, you know, take things to the next level sometimes in my head, but I don't think you can ever be too prepared for um, troubled times. So yeah, I go through these and Whatever, I don't have to explain to you why I buy wipes, I don't think. I don't know. I like to talk to you guys, and I'm, I am doing a haul, so I'm explaining why I buy what. And then finally, I got two rolls of paper towels. I have so much toilet paper stockpiled, and I thought I was doing pretty good with um, paper towels. And yesterday, I went to get a thing of paper towels, and there wasn't any. And I was like, what the heck? Was doing good and I wasn't so I stopped the Dollar Tree and I got some paper towels and yeah so now I bought some more so I'm doing okay but I use paper towels for a lot I use them for like napkins I use them for cleaning everything so that's my grocery haul I'm sorry I think I went over a month without doing a grocery haul so you know involved in Christmas and work and everything that I just let my refrigerator go bare and you know, I've been feeling really lousy, and it's because I haven't eaten good. So I'm going to eat good. What time is it? It's almost 6.30. I'm probably not going to eat too good tonight. I'll probably have, you know, some, I don't know, hummus and crackers or tabbouleh or something. It's getting a little late. So anyways, happy Friday. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'll probably pop on sometime this weekend and do a little video about um, New Year's resolutions, who does them, what do you do for New Year's resolution, do you skip New Year's resolutions, stuff like that. But anyways, I will probably see you sometime on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Happy New Year. I hope you all have a safe New Year, whether you go out or you just stay in and watch TV, have a glass of wine, have a beer, have a, a ice water or whatever. Please be safe. There's a lot of craziness out there still, a lot of sickness, and we all just need to start the new year off in a good way. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye now.